Uh, what a great atmosphere. Uh, obviously, TJ's got the team playing really hard. They caused us problems early in the game. I thought they beat us to a few loose balls that are pivotal. We didn't shoot it great the first half, but that's a credit to their defense. Um, we did get a couple open looks, and when you finally do get them over the physicality of the game, you know, you feel the squeeze to make them, and this place, I thought, squeezed us today, um, and then ultimately, their, their uh, ability to turn turnovers into baskets uh, was the difference, 28 to nothing. And not all of it was live ball. Some of it was live ball. Some of it was dead ball. And just our defense is improving. But I was proud of our scrap the second half. Thought we scrapped more. Thought we got after it. Thought we got in the mix. We didn't, we didn't back away. We were more aggressive at trying to get some of those loose balls. We did a better job rebounding. Uh, just little, it was too little, too late. Grant, you mentioned the atmosphere a couple of times. They haven't lost your this year, and I believe you were on some Baylor staffs that beat good Iowa State teams here. What is the challenge of, of winning in this building when they're playing well? Yeah, no, uh, and especially when it's connected and physical defensively like this, you know, and, and it turns into transition. You know, all those Fred Hoiberg teams, they were so good, elite in seven seconds and transition and how they put pressure on you and their size and rebounding. And, it, it you know, when you get out there and they start to move pieces, I just felt like, uh, the defense that transitioned to offense wakes this place up, and their transition game was great. Coach, you obviously got the technical foul in the second half. Um, Iowa State's been able to see a lot of opposing coaches get technical fouls. Is there something about the way they play that just frustrates um, opposing teams, opposing coaching staffs, maybe the way the game is officiated? Because it's happened quite a lot here recently. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't know anything about that. But I will tell you, I just respect the way they compete. You know, they play the game really hard. They, they, they make it difficult on you uh, as an offense to feel space. And you got to attack them is the way you have to do it. And the more you can attack them, the more you can put pressure on the basket. I did think we get to the foul line in the first half, just not enough. Coach, before the, the season started, um, where did you kind of peg Iowa State and 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 why in the conference standings now? Um, honestly, I hadn't given it much thought. Really, I just tried to concentrate on our team. And um, you know, as we watch them improve, you got to respect the way they guard and the way they compete and the way they share the ball. I mean, I just enjoy watching them play the game. You know, when you're scouting, you're looking at different teams and you're watching teams play. You know, their ball movement. You know, sometimes really good defensive teams maybe don't move the ball as well. And I think this team's one of those teams that they're, they're always got you on your heels. They got different guys that touch the basketball. Everybody scores it. I mean, I don't know what it was today, but you know, one, two, three, four, five, five guys uh, in double figures with Trey King at eight. I mean, that's a, that's a difficult team to prepare for. So they just do a great job defensively making it hard on you and a lot of pieces that can put you on your heels. Thank y'all.